Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new CrowdSim walkway feature with iClone 8.4. Walkway allows you to deploy your characters on a path and dictate various aspects of their movement behavior such as range, direction and flow, and even connect multiple walkways to plan a route. If you're not yet familiar with the CrowdSim features, please check out the Getting Started with CrowdSim tutorial first. Let's start off with how to generate a walkway. To do this, you'll first need a path, which you can create from the Create menu. Ensure that your path line is above the ground plane, and if you want, you can edit the various points via the Modify panel when the path is selected. From there, you can also edit the width of your walkway in the MD panel, which will generate your walkway. You can also add and edit points here, and more importantly, use scale to widen specific portions of your walkway. In order to get your characters to walk along a walkway, their MD control mode needs to be set to either control on path or auto on path. In this case, I'm setting it to auto on path. Once you've picked the path, you have an option to set the direction of the origin of the path, which is the first point, or the destination, which is the final point we added earlier. With Origin selected, along with Start on Path enabled and a midway start position, you'll see the character snap to midway through the path and move along it towards the origin point once MD is set to play mode. Destination will move in the opposite direction. Under Action Settings in the MD Control Panel, you can also set a number of the character's behaviors, such as the ratio between Move and Idle. By editing the path points, you can have your characters walk upstairs to various heights and also use Closed Loop to generate an infinite movement loop. Now that we have the basics on how to generate a walkway, let's look at how we can connect them. First, you need to select the origin point of the connection and hit Edit Point. From there, you'll have an option to create a connection. Hit that button and then the desired connecting point on the second path. This will generate a connection between the two walkways. Be aware that this connection goes both ways by default and three points will now be listed in the connection list with evenly distributed weights. These weights determine the probability a character will choose to follow that direction after passing through the previous path point. Currently, we have the connecting path point on the east path selected, and you can see the probability a character will choose to continue on the current path or switch over to the other path are relatively the same at 33%. If they cross over, then there's also an equal chance they will choose to head in one direction or the other along that new path, since both weight values are also equal to 33%. Now say we want to prevent our character from passing along the connection. Note that when I select the connecting point on the east path here, point 3 is listed as a connecting point on the west path. Therefore, if I don't want any characters to pass over to the west path, I would put the weight of point 3 to 0%. The other two points will then automatically go to 50% each. Now if I choose Edit Point and select the connecting point on the west path, you'll see the list order of the points change slightly. Here, point 1 is listed as the connecting point for the east path, so we want to set that to 0. Now when we simulate, characters on both sides will have a 0% chance of crossing over the thoroughfare. As another quick example, if I want the characters to be able to move from the west path to the east path, but not the other way around, I can choose the connecting point on the east path and leave that point 1 value at 0%. Then head over to edit the connecting point on the west path and leave that at 33%. When this is simulated, you'll see a number of characters crossing over from the west path to the east path, but nobody crossing over from east to west. You'll also notice that the connecting points for both paths are set to have thoroughfare enabled. If thoroughfare is enabled, this means that your characters will be unable to switch to an idle state when moving along that stretch of walkway. A way to avoid those pesky pedestrians who are unaware of their surroundings. Finally, 
there is an option to continue on walkway, which will cause characters to move towards a walkway after passing through this point instead of continuing along a connection route. In this example, there are three separate paths going north to south, and two separate connections going east to west that connect the outside paths to the middle one. The yellow color indicates that they are connections and not walkways. When we edit the middle path point, you can see that points 1 and 2 are defined as the connection points to the outside paths, and we have one character coming from the east. If we wanted to ensure that that character continued along a defined walkway, as opposed to continuing along the connection heading west, we could select Continue on Walkway here. This ensures that despite the weight values listed, the character will be forced to navigate north or south along a defined walkway, as opposed to continuing straight along the defined connection path. When we simulate, you can indeed see him turn left to continue on the north-south walkway, as opposed to continuing west along the defined connection path. Okay, lastly, let's look at defining character walkway behavior. When you hit that button in the MD panel, a new window will pop up with some default IMDs. You can add various IMDs to this list from the content manager, and also define tags in order to match the character with the appropriate motions. You can also manually input and add tags as well. In addition to IMDs, there are also various parameters under walkway action settings that you can define. Initially, your character may not have an IMD applied, but once you pick a path, one will be applied by default. In this case, it's a casual male walk. There is also an initial bearing option that allows you to determine the initial direction of a character's movement. You can set this more towards the path's origin or destination. If you set this slider more towards origin and then pick a path, it will set the start direction towards origin under the control settings. You can always change this manually later via control settings as well. That's it for this tutorial guys. Be sure to check out our other one on how you can use a walkway to generate a crowd as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.